Hello YouTube chess lovers and my friends, this is Gunjan here. Welcome to the 34th episode of my chess trap series. In this episode, I am going to show you one of the nasty trap in the Slav defense where actually you can trap your opponent's queen and win the game very quickly in the tournament practice. The opening arises after the following order d4, d5, c4, c6 and now knight to c3. Now the typical Slav main line start with the move knight to f6. However, I am going to propose at this point the trendy move d capture c4 winning a vital pawn. At this point white has two popular choices. Amongst them we are going to look at the move e3. However, if your opponent indeed continue with e4, then more or less our response will be similar as happened in the game and you can definitely check out some model games in this line which will give you a very good idea how to play against the move e4. Okay, e3, white is trying to grab his pawn back but black says, nope sweetie, I'm not going to allow this and I will play this greedy move b5 hanging on to my extra pawn. Again I want to stress that if your opponent continue with a4 then you can respond with b4 and these positions are quite good for the black game as it is confirmed by online database. As per the many books, videos and especially old theory they all condemn this move. The simple reason is white has this nasty sacrifice. Knight captures b5 <laughs> and suddenly black position is in a completely disarray. Obviously black has to take it otherwise his pawn structure will be ruined down. So c captures b5 is obvious response. But after this I think you see what white is up to. Yup, queen to f3, attacking the rook in the corner and black has nothing better than playing the move knight to c6, giving back the piece and in fact these positions are somewhat better for the white camp. So the old theory stops here saying that white is having a pleasant game. But in the recent times, with the help of professional engine, black is finding a new resources and one of them is absolutely marvelous which we are about to see. Here black is going to continue with this sneaky move, queen to c7. So now if white doesn't take the rook in the corner, then after bishop to b7, black emerged with a piece up. So obviously by force white has to take the rook in the corner and after that yup you guessed it bishop to b7 attacking the queen. Queen has only one square to go queen captures a7. And now black has to be patient he cannot play knight to c6 as white queen has two escape root. So first the obvious move is e5 controlling those two important squares and now indeed knight to c6 is obvious threat which trap down the white sweetie. For example if white continue with any casual moves such as knight to f3 then we have knight to c6 and that queen is a corner. So accordingly at this position white has the only decent move available and that is Bishop captures c4. Idea is very obvious. Now black cannot play knight to c6 as bishop to b5 help to escape the queen. Okay, so obviously black has to take this bishop 
and already black obtain a good advantage as if you look at the material black has two minor piece against rook and a two pawn which is always favors the black camp but in fact black can go for more if white doesn't continue accurately from here onwards Now, as per the online database, knight to f3 is one of the most popular choice in this position. However, that leads to a queen trappy line. But before we look at it, the important point I like to highlight that even white find the only right move in this position, namely queen check. Black can already get a decent advantage with knight to d7. However, I personally like bishop to c6 which is more spicier and very direct black bishop is attacking two spots so white response is force white has to take on c4 blocking down that bishop but now comes this very sneaky move bishop to b4 check and after this i think however white plays he got bad positions he can't play king to f1 as after bishop captures g2, white queen does not belong to this world. <laughs> so that's not even a possibility. You can't think about taking on b4. The simple reason is after bishop captures g2, not only black regained the rook in the corner, but at the end of the sequence, black emerged with an extra piece. So that leads to the only reply left, namely bishop to d2. After this, black has this nice forcing sequence. Bishop captures d2, king captures d2, pawn takes d4, white has to take back with the pawn. And after that, the simplest move in the world, knight to e7. And if you carefully look at this position, yes, in terms of material, White has a rook and a three pawn against two minor piece. But in terms of the most important chess aspect, king safety, white has a big time issue as his king is stuck in the center. After black's natural reply, castle, I think it is only black who is having a lot of fun in this line. So finally, let's check out what is wrong with the move knight f3 which is in fact highestly played from this position well i'm afraid it's a big time mistake and the simple refutation goes with this very nice move knight to a6 not only boxing this poor white queen but controlling the vital important c5 square and now as you can see i have highlighted by the arrows very simple but effective plan of campaign that is knight to e7, knight to c8 and then completely trapping down the white queen. The most amazing part is even though white see that this is coming on, he can't able to stop it. Now to illustrate my point, I like to show you a model game which has been just recently played where a 2300 literally crossed a 2000 plus rated opponent within 18 moves. In the game, white played knight captures e5 and after the move knight to e7, he replied with d5, giving a escape route to the white queen. Well, black is equally smart as he continued with this obvious move knight to f5 not allowing white queen to escape and now another threat is looming bishop to c5 and white is in a big dilemma how to deal with this threat well in the game he opt for knight capture c4 his idea is after the obvious black response bishop to c5 white wants to play d6 counter-attacking the black queen. Well, black response was spot on. He avoided any nuisance by playing the move queen to c8. Asking white, now 
what is your next step to rescue your important baby okay black place knight to b6 last cheapo on the board d7 check but black safely negotiate everything with queen to c6 and after the only check d7 he calmly played king to d8 and now to his horror white find out that not only his queen is lost but in the process of saving the queen he lost yet another piece the game finished very quickly b4 has been tried last desperation but black keep it very simple he captured the knight on b6 grabbing yet another piece and if allowed in the next turn black is going to take the queen and in fact the king however white revealed the plan behind the move b4 as he continue with b5 counter attacking the black queen and if queen has been exchanged then white might survive this game well guess what just one move and resigns and i hope you did find this move if you want more time you can pause the video i'm showing you right now queen captures b5 <laughs> so everything has been grabbed in this game and i think at this point white realized that the move he was intended is queen captures b7 doesn't work as black has this lethal check which indeed grab his queen that's it guys i hope you enjoy and learn this wonderful trap in the slav defense remember when your opponent continue with this old line theoretical move knight captures b5 don't forget to punish him with c captures b5 queen to f3 and this modern move queen to c7 which allow white queen to grab rook in the corner but after bishop to b7 it is only white who is fighting for either survival of the game or losing the queen thank you for watching this video feel free to like subscribe and comment and i will meet you in my next episode very soon bye and take care